musician and actor Elvis Presley, rose to fame in the middle of 1915s on the radio, TV, and the silver screen, and is one of the biggest names in the rock and roll history. Elvis Presley came from a very humble beginnings and grew up to become one of the biggest names in the rock and roll. By the mid of 1915s, he appeared on the radio, television, and the silver screen. On August 16, 1977, at age 42, he died of heart failure, which was related to his drug addiction. Since his death, Priestley has remained one of the world's most popular music icons. Elvis Aaron Priestley was born on January 8, 1935, in Tuapelo, Mississippi. Priestley was supposed to be a twin, but his brother, Jesse Garone, was stillborn. From very humble beginnings, Priestley grew up to become one of the biggest names in rock and roll. Raised by loving, working-class parents, Priestley family had little money, and they moved from place to place frequently. He was deeply devoted to his parents, especially his mother, Gladys, and was raised to have a strong faith in God. Priestley attended the Assembly of God Church with his parents, where gospel music became an important influence for him. Priestley received his first guitar as a gift from his mother on his 11th birthday in 1946, and had his first taste of musical success a few years later when he won a talent show as a Hamas High School in Memphis. After graduating in 1953, he worked a number of jobs while pursuing his musical dream. He cut his first demo record at what later became known as Sun Studio that year, and before long, Sam Phillips, that record label owner, decided to take the young performer under his wing. Priestley soon began touring and recording, trying to catch his first big break, That's All Right, was Priestley's first single in 1954. In 1955, Priestley began to develop a following with fans being drawn to his unusual musical style, provocative gyrating hips and god looks. That same year, he signed with RCA Records, a deal worked out by his manager, Colonel Tom Parker. Priestley was on a roll, scoring his first number one single with Heartbreak Hotel, as well as his first number one album Elvis Priestley, and signing a movie contract with Paramount Pictures, all in 1956. Despite the uproar that his sexy dance moves caused, he also became a popular guest on a number of television variety shows. Soon, Priestley was everywhere, working as a musician and actor. His first film, Love Me Tender, 1956, was a box office hit. Even a stint in the US military couldn't put a damper on Priestley's thriving career. He received his draft notice in 1957 and was inducted into the army the following March. He eventually served in Grammy for about the year and a half, shortly before Priestley left Europe. His beloved mother, Gladys, died. He was granted a leave and returned to Memphis for the funeral. Deeply saddened by her death, Priestley returned to a duty. While in Germany, his spirit were lifted slightly when he met a young teenager named Persikila Biulu. The pair fell in love and married on May 1, 1967 in Las Vegas, Nevada.